Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4604 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So here we go, 15 moves to clear out 131 jelly and clear out 15 of the licorice swirls. It's listed as a hard level. We've got a lot of blockers. So on the last level, I just beat, I think we had fewer jelly and we had a lot more turns and not quite as many blockers, including this magic mixer, also known as an evil spawner. Because for every three turns that I take that I don't strike this, it will spew something evil out at me. And I don't know what that is yet. I've got marmalade, frosting, licorice with more licorice set to come down. I do have some helpers on the board, but I've got to open this board up. Oops, hello. So let's try this. See, look at this. It's filling up with bubble gum. And it's replacing some things with licorice, which, I mean, let's think about this. This is five layers thick. This is one layer thick. That might not be a bad thing. That might be what we are supposed to do. We may, we may need to wait until this replaces all of these with licorice and then swoop into the center. And we need 13 licorice, so that's going to help. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We need this. No, we don't, because we have other dispensers. But it's an interesting concept. Now, I don't really want to set these together. I want these to go separately. But I don't have a lot of time to kind of play around with things. And I do want to make moves low to the ground to encourage cascading. So I had to give something up there. All right, so one move, two moves. Three moves. Oh, so it doesn't always do the same thing, and that created a problem for us. But, you know, the more we play, the more we learn, the more we can use that knowledge to try to create good things. Now, here's the problem. I want to make this raft, but if I make this raft, it's going to drop down here, and this is probably going to do something to alter it. But if it just puts on a, a licorice lock, that's not terrible. If it converts it, that's terrible. Or it could convert something else. I'm going to go ahead and go for this knowing what the problem is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Wrapped, wrapped combo. Not only is it going to hit this twice and take out two rivets, but it's also going to clear out a lot of this junk here. And, and this is the good news. It has the opportunity, It has. this is more good news, it has the opportunity to create some nice cascading. Now, I made a wrapped and I had a wrapped here, so we were able to get this wrapped, wrapped combo, which is beautiful, because sometimes it's hard to time how quickly will the wrapped candies generate from here. It's not always very generous. So we do this. We didn't get a wrapped candy given to us, but we did create one with that, so that's good. Oh, look at that. Now that um, spawner is gone, and it doesn't matter because I've got plenty of licorice on the board. It's not like I needed that, like I thought I might at first. But how in the world do I deal with all of this? I don't like what I have here. It looks too tough. What I need to do is create an opportunity for cascading to bring down a raft way down here. There we go. That helped. <gasps> and now that I've got a board open, I'll have more chances of getting things like these magically appearing. Don't think it's going to be enough for the number of turns I have left. So that shows us what we're up against. I can take out blue, which would hit here and here. I could take out orange, which would hit here and here. Take out green, which wouldn't really help much at all. Uh, I think I'm going to go for removing the blue and hoping the orange comes together and create some good things for me. We got close. We got very close. We were down to five jelly. So that shows how much work needs to happen. And it shows how valuable the wrapped dispenser is here and the value of that wrapped wrapped combo. 
I need to get those more quickly. So what I'm going to do now is pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'm going to have the microphone turned off, but then once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything for you. And this may take a while because like I said, this is listed as a hard level. It's a lot to juggle. See you in just a bit. Okay, this is the winning one, but it took about 10 to 15 tries to get here. So I'm looking for how to get to that center area. I've already got a color bomb. I don't want to hold on to it forever, but I've got some other good moves. So I'm not, you know, jumping into it immediately. Now I think is a good time because I want to try to get, oh, the wrapped, wrapped combo. Just cannot get that one figured out. Uh... Yeah, I've got stuff on both sides I can do. I, I, I Honestly, I'm not really paying much attention this run. I was talking to, the, to a friend on the phone while I was doing this. So I'm kind of making some, some rash decisions here. There we go. Now, I could do, take out a, something with a color bomb. I could do a striped draft. I like the striped draft. It's going to hit the color bomb, which is going to take out a color and concentrate things down. That... Um, magic mixer is out of the way and now I should probably just use this again take out a color and concentrate things down now that the board is open look at how many gifts we get things just flow through orange looks like a good color to take out we've got a lot of really good stuff orange is situated on and now here I could just do a striped wrapped combo over there but I decided to take out all purple either one would have gotten me to that conclusion at the end. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.